beehive is maintained by tens of thousands of female worker bees and one queen bee. If for some reason the queen bee is gone, the worker bees will quickly try to grow a new queen bee. Find a newborn larva and create a room to grow a queen bee called an artificial queen cell. The royal jelly is stored inside. Current royal jelly production takes advantage of the characteristics of this bee. What is that method? Inland part of Okayama Prefecture. Mana is doing beekeeping in nature, surrounded by greenery. The important thing at the beginning is to make the queen bee free. However, the queen bee cannot be physically removed because it is necessary for egg laying. A board, called a queen excluder, is used there. The larger body of the big queen bee cannot pass through. As a result, the queen bee stays in the lower hives and the hives in the upper section will be absent of the queen bee. Next, make a lot of artificial queen cells using this equipment. These are cups called queen cells. We will place larva of only one millimeter in size by hand into each one. When the larva has been transferred, these are then put into the queen bee absent beehives. Wait 72 hours for the worker bees to restore royal jelly in the queen cell. By the way, there are more than 300 queens in Manor's artificial queen cells, usually about 90 cells. If it's too many, some unfilled royal jelly of queen cells will come out, therefore, Manor uses a certain technique. Be sure to watch the next video.